Okay, hello everybody. Uh, just coming live. I know I was supposed to be live on Saturday, but uh, I don't have that many followers, so I decided not to go live anyway. I just moved into my apartment about a month ago, so it's kind of still empty. <laughs> but anyway, I'm loving it. Uh, I'm in an NC now, and I'm I'm good. Anyway, I wanted to uh, apologize to Dr. Juanita Bynum. I had made a video a week ago uh, about apologizing concerning that John Moore situation. But I happened to be looking, and I noticed something. Um, let me just start with me. I have been an aircraft mechanic for about 10 years, about 9 years. And right after I left, because I lived in Alabama for about seven years. Before then, I was in Georgia for eight and a half years, originally from New York State. Um, but when I left my job in Alabama two years ago, I didn't know that I would be spending a whole year staying in and out of hotels. And one thing that I failed to hear is that, uh, you know, I was listening to John Moore's side, watching a Larry Reed live. I did hear your live interview, Dr. Juanita Bynum. Uh, but one thing I failed to hear was about the hotel. And from experience, I know that when I check into my hotel, my name is on it. Of course, I'm paying for it. But, um, you know, I remember back when I was in New York State, uh, my parents had started a church. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I didn't expect that. But anyway, we had a church called Miracle Faith Tabernacle. Um, and it lasted for eight years, but we have speakers come in and everything else. But I know that, and we also went out of town too. But, you know, I was thinking that I have to apologize because I believe that Dr. Juanita Biden was right having concerns that. Um, John Moore had keys going out of the room. Uh, even though he had paid for the room, either by using his credit card or using a church uh, account, uh, her name should have been on the rooms, either all four the rooms or her room or however. But her name should have been on the room to where when she got in from her flight um, and Got a ride there from the airport. She should have been able to tell tell them her name, and they give her a key to her room. This is one of the. This is not no Motel Six or no Wood Spring, nothing like that. This is like the Hyatt Regency, or the Hilton. These are one of those high class hotels. So I was listening to everybody else. Okay, I was listening to somebody talk, and it dawned on me. Um, that that Juanita Bynum name should have been on there, not John Moore. Because that gave John Moore access to go in and out of the room at any time. And plus, when I heard um, what Juanita Bynum had said again, that he did not leave no gift in the room. He didn't even give whatever he came up there to give her to her secretary or armor bearer or whoever she is, the assistant, uh, Unica. So then I felt like I needed to come on and apologize because I did send a video to Dr. Juanita Bynum and explained it that, telling her that she needs to apologize to this man. And, but now I'm changing that. And people might disagree with me. I don't care. I know from experience, uh, with my parents having a church and bringing it in different speakers and we going out of town to different churches and having to stay in hotels. And I also know with me being living in a hotel all of last year because of my job, because I have went on, um, you know, because I was going from state to state working as an aircraft mechanic on different contracts. And now, now, per, now I'm hopefully, I'm hoping that I'm permanently, permanently in 
North Carolina. I hope that I stay permanently in North Carolina. That's what I'm hoping. But I'm like, man, I got I got to take that video off and just apologize to Dr. Juanita Bynum. So I do apologize, Dr. Juanita Bynum, because I overlooked that and I understand your concern as a woman. Because nowadays with some of these scandals coming out with these pastors, um, well, my room is so empty. But anyway, with these scandals coming out with these pastors and everything, um, people being raped, molested, uh, there's even been folks who've been killed. You know, there's people who have walked into a church and killed people. And who to say what could have happened? Um, and I understand that John Moore might be an honest man. He might be a, a decent guy or whatever else. But um, one thing he did do wrong, he didn't bring his wife up there. And second of all, he should have had the hotels and why need a Bynum's name. That way, when those girls checked in, you know, he didn't need to sit up there and go see. He could have sat up there and had, you know, made sure the day before anybody came in. Because they paid for the plane tickets for um, the other girls, which everybody overlooked. Yeah, why did the bottom wasn't there, but the other girls were there. They knew they should know what time their flight came in. I had taken a plane uh, two years ago from Birmingham all the way up to Chicago, then from Chicago to Albany. And I was um, going for an interview. And that company that was interviewing me for a job um, paid for the plane. So I, all I had to do was just give them my confirmation number. I had my ticket. I put up my ticket on my phone and everything. I didn't know you could do that now. But I did that. Um, and I had my ticket scanned in. It just went right on through. Once I got to the hotel in Albany, New York, I just gave them my confirmation number. They gave me my key and everything was cool. You know, nobody else's name was on that room but mine's. Somebody else paid for the room, not me, but my name was on that room. So I was the only one who had the key, me and the housekeeper. So anyway, that was something I overlooked and that was something that everybody else overlooked. So yeah, John Moore was wrong in that case because you got a lot of people whose new pictures is coming out, pictures of them having sex. And I'm like, I know that people in the gospel industry especially is not just putting their pictures out there to be, you know, somebody, you know, somebody could be trying to frame them or somebody could be mad and all of that stuff. And I know that people have connected um, Dr. Juanita Bynum's name to a lot of stuff. But, you know, I haven't seen no receipts of Dr. Juanita Bynum being caught in a sexual act with somebody. Um, you know, we might disagree with what she might preach over the pulpit. Uh, some of the things she might preach, we might disagree with that. You know, I have to disagree with others, but you don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> you know, but still, still, people are coming to hear the word. They come in to be blessed and everything else. Um, but there have been people, especially pa a lot of pastors and stuff, who have been caught in um, sexual activities. Of course, Jamal Bright is now in Atlanta, Georgia. And my advice to him is that he better be careful because he can't do in Atlanta, Georgia, what he did in Baltimore, sleeping around with the members and stuff. Because, you know, a lot of people in Atlanta got AIDS because a lot of these women have had men that was on the down low. So my advice to hell is to, to practice safe sex, which is not to do it at all. To so get with one woman, if need be, because the Bible did say, if you can't contain yourself, then marry. But, you know, get to know this lady. You know, you got people right around here with kids outside of marriage and all of that stuff. You know, anything could have happened. A camera could have happened set up in a row, you know. 
So I can understand her being cautious. So Dr. Wynum, Dr. Dr. Juanita Bynum, I'm sorry. Dr. Juanita Bynum, from the bottom of my heart, I do apologize. And I hope that everything is all right with you and your camp. I'm not going to say anything further. I don't agree with no, well, I don't agree with no woman laying out underwears for me, but that's you and your camp. Uh, I can't go no further with that. Like I said, you are not, you know, you are one of the people who have been caught in no sexual act, and even though people have said this and that and stuff, even with listening to that girl Miko or whatever her name is, you know, every time I hear that, oh, why did anybody was have raped this person or had sex with this person and stuff, when they go to put Miko on, the only thing Miko be crying about is that her um that why they was buying the first husband, first husband, I'm sorry, first cousin. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Forgive my speech. I, I am not. I usually don't go live because I don't want to be another Andrew Cardwell because um, my speech is real bad. But why did buy them cousin? Her first cousin, not husband. Uh, her first cousin um, had left her. Had disappeared, did a disappeared act. That's the only thing I hear what Miko's. That's the only thing I hear Miko say. With every interview I heard from the Jive show or whatever, King Jive, when he bring Miko on, the only thing Miko say is that her husband jumped up and left. She haven't seen him since. And she got kicked out of Whitey the Bynum's house. That's the only thing I hear her say. I don't hear nothing about no sexual acts going on or none of this other stuff. So anyway, Dr. Bynum. I'd like to say again, I apologize. And I hope you and your camp is okay. And God bless you. And with John Moore. Uh, the next time you bring a female, and I'll give this to you as advice, even though you're a pastor, and I'm not, that it will be wise to put the name in the guest room. And if you have to go up to their room to make sure everything is okay, bring your wife. Bring your wife. You don't go to a hotel room. A, you don't go to the hotel alone anyway. Because people would suspect that something is going on. You don't let your good be evil spoken of. And second of all, you don't have another man pick up a female from the airport by himself. He's supposed to have his wife too. Anything could have happened. Y'all could have been accused of sexual uh, misconduct. They could have said that you were saying something, something sexual about them. You know, they could have accused you. I mean, I know that Dr. Biden was not like that, but anybody else could have accused you. With all the stuff that's going on, I mean, even in business, men do not pull a female aside and put her behind a closed door because that is dangerous. When they go and they need to talk to a female behind closed door, they have another female right there with them. When when women go to the doctor, to the OBGYN clinic, to have their pelvic examination, there is another, there is a nurse right there with that doctor. Whether it's a male or a female. I had a female for years and she always had a nurse sitting right there. Standing right there. Watching everything that she did. Because the, the time that we living in, anybody could accuse anybody of doing something. It could falsely accuse them, had them in a whole lot of trouble. So you never go nowhere, especially to a hotel, without your wife. You don't go and pick up a female member of your church without your wife being there. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta watch those things because people could, even if nothing went on. Somebody who don't know what's going on could have spread anything. 
about about you being inappropriate, okay? So anyway, God bless you all.